Um, my co-founder, Tom, was supposed to give this presentation, so I literally haven't seen these slides. Uh, <laughs> take this opportunity to actually give a PSA. Um, Tom was in a very serious bike accident the day before yesterday. He went over the bonnet of a car, cracked his skull on the ground, the helmet shattered. He's a Welsh guy, took the day off yesterday, back at work today, um, but suffering from memory loss, but he'll be okay. Um, so we don't talk about Whipcar as kind of a green company, but it has a lot of green potential and with a lot of positive externalities. 21% of carbon emissions in the UK come from the private car or domestic transport. We have an excess capacity of cars, so you can see from the stat um, how cars have increased, but the population obviously hasn't kept in tow, and that's why you see OEMs being bailed out um, and the traditional auto industry kind of suffering, so they need to focus on things like new mobility. Um, in the UK, the average car is only used for 4.6 hours per week, uh, and people's attitudes towards owning services are really changing. People now prefer to actually access these services increasingly. So what is Whipcar? We launched in 2010 as the world's first peer-to-peer uh, -peer car rental firm. So if you're familiar with something like a streetcar, this is using real people's cars. They can make money from their car by renting them out. Um, and people in their neighborhood can actually drive a car that they don't actually own. This is a view, oh by the way, we put all these slides together by taking photos from Hipstamatic. We aren't really used to giving 20 second presentations, so hopefully you aren't offended. I think it's kind of cool. Um, GM, Hertz, Zipcar, these are names that you have heard of before, and they're just examples of companies that are kind of embracing new mobility, which is the buzzword in the auto industry. They're all doing it in different ways, um, but again, uh, we are kind of a software technology for addressing the concept of excess capacity. The average car actually owns close to, uh, costs of approximately 7,000 pounds a year to own, that's an RIC stat. Um, again, now as a car owner, you can make money from your car. And owners ask questions like, well, what about insurance? Well, what about insurance? We spent a year before we launched creating a new product with Lloyds of London. And this is a real-time risk analysis platform that places a dynamic insurance policy for every hire period, protecting you in a fully comprehensive way. And then that policy expires um, when the rental expires. This is an example of an advertisement that we used when we first launched the company a little over two years ago. It has a nice little suction cup in the corner that you can't see. This is the flip side of it. So we hand them out to people on the tube, and then they'd stick them on cars in their neighborhood that they wanted to rent. So when you came back to your car, it said someone in their neighborhood actually wants to rent a car. And, they uh, and that worked out pretty well. That's how we got our first 30 cars. Um, this, is, uh, this is the owner and driver dynamic. Um, and what we found is that when people use the service, the beauty of it is that it's a hyper-local service. So not only do you have a relationship with our business, but you have a relationship with the people in your neighborhood. So you can see these are a selection of drivers for one particular owner. They're 0.1 miles away, you know, 0.2 miles away. They have a recurring relationship. You rent your car out 30 times a year, it's going to be, the, let's say, two or three, four people over again and again. Um, here's an example of some of our drivers. This woman, Diana, she uh, has a G-Wiz, the electric car. Um, the point of the way people buy cars is that they buy for maximum utility. So if you are a family of three and or four and you go away the holiday uh, to Devon every summer for a week, you'll buy a Land Rover because you need it for that time. But actually, on a daily basis, it's better for you to have a Mini. But that's not people function. But now you can actually get a car, as exem exemplified by that, that's fit for purpose. So you can drive the right car for the right time because you're using the capacity in your neighborhood. It's also an opportunity for you to <laughs> be engaged with new technologies. So this is the only place in the country where you can rent a Twizy um, and get familiar with electric technology before you might decide to buy your own or just, you know, just use that person's. 90% um, of London is now within a 10 minute walk of a whip car. We're very proud of that. Uh, 19,000 cars all across the UK. Um, about 30% of our cars are in London, the rest everywhere else. So that's somewhere, something that traditional firms can't do because they need to be located in densely populated areas. The incremental cost for us to have a car in you know, a small village in Wales versus London is the same, basically zero. Uh, here's an example of one of our owners, which we missed out on. And now here's an example of how you're going to be buying cars in the future. So we are changing the car from a product to a managed service. Um, you could buy or rent or sell a car in the past, now you can rent a car. So you're going to own a car from 
you know, zero pounds a month because you're going to facilitate your 300 pound monthly payment by renting out your car five or six times. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.